In this tutorial, I will show you how to transfer a YouTube channel to another Google account. And if this video does help you out today, then please consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like on the video, and also consider subscribing to the channel. And with that being said, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So you can see I'm currently on youtube.com and just a quick note that in order to do this, you can only do this on a brand account. So when you actually set up a YouTube channel, you do have the option to set this up as like a personal account or a brand account. So if you have set this up as a brand account, you are okay and you can transfer this. If it's your own personal account, it is a bit more complex. But to do it on a brand account, what you're going to want to do first is come up to the top right hand corner and click onto your channel profile picture if you're signed in already. Next, you wanna come down to your YouTube studio. And then from here, what you're gonna do is come down to the bottom left-hand corner and just go ahead and click onto settings. Next, from here, what you're going to want to do is locate permissions. So you see in this menu on the left-hand side, we have permissions down here. And then you're just gonna click the blue manage permissions link here. So what it's gonna do is take you across to your brand account details. So from here, if you're not logged in, then it's gonna ask you to, of course, it, it may ask you to log in. And what you're gonna to want to do is click the blue manage permissions button. So what it's gonna do, as I say, it's gonna, probably gonna ask you to log in from here. So you're just gonna to wanna to go ahead and log into your account. And then once you're logged in, of course, if you've got anything set up like a two-step verification or something along those lines, then what you're gonna do is just go ahead and confirm that on your phone. So I'm just gonna do that now for my phone and you can see that's just going through and we are back to this screen here. So once again, you wanna click onto the manage permissions box and you'll see that it's got my um, myself here as the primary owner. So to add someone as the primary owner to transfer this account, what you're gonna to want to do is click onto this icon here to add someone to this account. So I'm just gonna go ahead and enter another email into here. And this is just another email that I use. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that in. And then what I'm gonna do is choose a role. So of course we want to select owner and then we wanna click on to invite. So what's gonna happen, you'll notice down in the bottom left hand corner, it says invited users. Now, what that now means is they need to log into their email. They would have been sent an email. So what they now need to do is go into their email and just accept the invitation. So here we are in the email and you can see that this is what the email is gonna look like. So it just basically says you've received an invitation. Martin Hemmings invited you to share ownership of digital tutor step-by-step -step tutorials. So what you need to do is click the blue accept invitation button. Go ahead and click accept. And this is gonna take you again back to the brand account details screen. So if we now go ahead and click the manage permissions button again, and again, it might ask you to enter the password. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that again. And then once again, click the manage permissions button. So you can see now that um, they've still set as a primary owner and I'm just set as an owner. So what I'm gonna do is click the drop down box and select primary owner. So what it says is make Martin Hemmings a primary owner of digital tutor step-by-step -step tutorials. As a primary owner, Martin Hemmings can add and delete other owners and managers. And it just tells you all about the rights that you have as the primary owner. So what you would then do is click the transfer button down here. Now notice a little pop-up down in the bottom left hand corner, which says that basically primary ownership can only be transferred to users after seven days. So what you wanna do is basically add the Google account that you wanna to transfer to, leave it there as an owner, but leave them there for seven days because you can actually make them the primary owner until after seven days. So you just wanna wait the seven days, go back into this screen, go onto the manage permissions. And as I say, you'll be able to change that to primary owner and switch the Google account across. So I hope this video helped you out today. If it did, as I say, if you would drop down below and drop a like on the video and maybe consider subscribing to the channel, I really do appreciate it. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next tutorial.